creation and insertion in mongodb we know that mongodb is a document oriented database so a collection will be containing multiple documents so at first we shall concentrate on the collection creation then we shall concentrate on the document creation so at first we are considering the collection creation to create a collection in the mongodb we can use the method that is a create collection method so syntax will be db dot create collection here we are having some name and then some options so let now let us discuss what is the name and what is the option the name is the string type value and the for the second argument we can specify some options and these options are used to control the documents inside the collection so this is where mentioning the collection name and some options will be there now let us discuss that what are the different options are available there so the let me repeat once so db dot create collection is a method at first we shall be passing the collection name and some options will be there so the options are like this so first one is a capped so capped is a field and the its type is boolean and it is optional if it is true then enables the capped collection now what is a capped collection so capped collection is a fixed size collection that means we are supposed to mention the size of the collection so to make that one i shall have to make capped there is a boolean option should be made true the next field is auto index id it is of the type of boolean if this auto index id if it is true then automatically create index on underscore id fields default value is false so its default value is false but if i want to make that one true then the auto index id will get created on this underscore id next one is the size and it is of the type of number so it is optional specifies a maximum size in bytes for a capped collection so when this capped this boolean option is true then this particular size will be working there next one is the max so it is a number it is optional specifies the maximum number of documents allowed so these are the options are available for the collection creation now let us discuss how to create one document so document insertion so to insert documents in the collection we have to use the insert method now what is the syntax syntax is db dot collection name dot insert and then document so the documents should be in the json format i think to know it better to understand it better let us go for one practical demonstration where you will be issuing such commands and we shall show you that how the outputs are coming so here is the demonstration for you so at first we are opening one terminal so control alt t we are issuing command sudo service mongodb start password is asked password is given then i shall issue the command mongo to get the mongo shell so the mongo shell has been obtained so going for creation of a database so i shall go for show dbs you see you see the database is not pre existing so i'm going for my database so switch to my database so now if i go for db i can see that i'm working with this my database here but if i go for the dbs show dbs i'm finding that my database is not coming in the list because this my database is having no collection so let us insert one collection here under this my database okay so in that case what we shall do we shall create a collection whose size is 5 mb and it can store 100 documents maximum so how to do that one so db dot create create collection the name of the collection is uh, name of the document is employee this is the collection is there so here the name of the collection is employee and then we shall go for the size so as i have mentioned it will be uh, 5 mb so 5 to 4 to 880 
and it, it will have maximum 100 documents so I shall go for this max and then 100 so one collection is getting created and the name of the collection is here employee so one collection has got created so if I go for this show DBS then I can find that my database is now coming because it is not empty database it is having one collection so now uh, to insert data into the collection so how to do that one so we shall go for db dot employee that is a collection name so employee dot insert so this is the method is there now we shall go for some key value pair so I shall go for say name then I shall go for city then I shall go for say age then I shall go for salary then I shall close the curly brace and then first bracket and semicolon so one uh, one respective document has got inserted under the collection that is employee so let us go for add more records to this collection so we shall go for more records insertion so here I'm changing these names so another one has got inserted successfully okay so another one has got inserted so let us go for the another one db dot employee dot insert we are going for another one now I have inserted multiple such documents under the collection so now uh, let us go for to see the contents of the collection so for that I shall be going for db dot collection name dot find now here you can find that we are having this collections are getting printed so these are different documents are there under the collection under the collection employee we are having multiple such documents and each and every document has got system given unique object ID so here we are getting another extra field the name of the field is underscore ID and it is the auto generated ID and it is likely uh, like our primary key of our DBMS so you see this is the extra ID has got created and other values according to our insertion so now I think you are getting this idea how this data can be inserted here how to create one collection and how to insert multiple documents under the collection and what are the respective commands and how to show the respective collection content thanks for watching this video